Hello, this is the Trade Site Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, the 18th of January 2015, ending Friday the 23rd. It's a little deceptive because Monday is a U.S. bank holiday, so we really won't be posting any calls till Monday night. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Made new highs again this week for the year. Big move since that uh, breakout back in August. And uh, you'll notice also here, well, we usually use the seeker for buy and sell signals on the daily chart, it's always good to keep track of both. And you can see here that the uh, Comer is giving us a 13 sell signal. So something to be moderately aware of here is whether that Comer signal turns into something or not. Let's take a look at the uh, Euro dollar. Uh, and I'm actually going to remove the uh, Comer from this part of the presentation. And we'll just stick with the seeker like we normally do. Uh, new lows on the Euro dollar. Here's a look at the pound. You can see the pound using that risk line off the 13 buy signal from a couple weeks ago uh, pretty well here. It keeps bouncing right off that level, trying to curve back up. The green line above would be the static trend line, possibly the target on a reversal move here. Here's the Aussie. Here's New Zealand, which has been really flat. Here's the pound yen. Of course, the story of the week was the uh, Swiss-based stuff. Let's take a quick look at uh, what the Euro Swiss did this week. <laughs> Something you don't see often in Forex, really at all. Uh, a huge 2,000 pip move, uh, all of it in a big gap that just destroyed several firms, showing you the obvious risk that's involved in firms that trade against their customers in the Forex market. Other than that, everything's been fairly stable. We had a good week, closed it out with a 100 pip uh, winner on the uh, final session there. So nothing for us to complain about, but certainly some firms that are uh, out of business from this. Here's a look at the, uh, let's look at the Euro dollar intra-week in 30-minute bars. You can see it from last Friday's close to this Friday's close. A little slow start to the week. Overall range, though, was pretty good. Got over uh, 400 pips. That's back to what we like to see. And uh, so maybe Monday and Tuesday were a little slow, but we certainly picked up Wednesday as things started to head down. The uh, pound dollar, strangely, only in 180 pip range. We did make money on that once this week, but... Uh, you know, that's not a huge range. That's barely 60 pips above a single day average ranges. So, uh, All right, so that's what we saw this week and what was obviously one of the more bizarre weeks in a long time in Forex. Let's talk about the week ahead. Bank holiday in Japan Sunday, which really won't matter because the bank holiday is also here in the U.S. on Monday. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong week. Let me update the... Uh, there we go. Let's go with this. So Sunday, what won't matter is the right move HPI out of the UK, new motor vehicle sales out of Australia, and revised industrial production out of Japan, and consumer confidence out of Japan, PPI out of Switzerland, current account out of Europe, and then, of course, the U.S. bank holiday for Martin Luther King here on Monday. Uh, foreign securities purchases out of Canada, business confidence Monday night out of New Zealand, China's releasing GDP, fixed asset investment, industrial production, Retail sales all at once at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday night. Get to work and we open the U.S. again. So Tuesday, we've got the German PPI, Italian trade balance, economic sentiment out of Germany and uh, the broad European sector. We've got manufacturing sales out of Canada, GDT price index out of New Zealand. We've got uh, Fed member uh, Powell speaking. We've got the NAHB uh, housing market index here in the U.S. We've got the CPI. Um, if in uh, in New Zealand, we've got the Westpac consumer sentiment data uh, that's out of Australia. Uh, we've got uh, monetary policy statement for the last Bank of Japan meeting, and uh, all industries activity out of Japan, Bank of Japan press conference, and then we've got uh, UK's average earnings, claimant count change. Um, official bank rate votes, asset purchase facility votes, and the unemployment rate out of the UK. This is all Wednesday. Zoo economic sentiment of Switzerland. Building permits and housing starts here in the U.S. along with wholesale sales in Canada. Bank of Canada's monetary policy report and rate statement and overnight rate out of Bank of Canada. So there's their press conference also on Wednesday. Uh, New Zealand's manufacturing index, Australia's inflation expectations, and their HIA new home sales. Thursday, Bank of Japan monthly report at midnight here, Eastern Time. Uh, Spanish unemployment rate a couple hours later. Public sector net borrowing out of the UK. Italian retail sales. 
minimum bid rate. So here's the uh, Bank of um, or the ECB's uh, press conference and rate announcement. Unemployment claims that's the weekly number here in the U.S. and our housing price index. Consumer confidence out of Europe at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, this is on Thursday. Natty gas, crude oil inventories both coming out the same day due to the Monday holiday. Uh, flash manufacturing PMI out of Japan. Flash manufacturing PMI out of China. The same out of France, Germany, the broad European sector all going into Friday. Retail sales out of the U.K. CPI and retail sales out of Canada in the morning, Friday morning. Belgian NBB business climate out of Europe. Flash manufacturing PMI and existing home sales and CB leading index here in the U.S. So none of our big three. We had uh, dealt with trade balance recently. CPI is out of the way. Unemployment rate will be uh, later in the month. We do not have a Fed meeting, but we do have a bank of uh, the ECB uh, uh, meeting this week, something to focus on. There's plenty of data, but again, we're going to be bottled up the first day of the week because of the holiday and then get back to it. We've got options expiration out of the way. So hopefully just another straightforward trading week, obviously. The news out of Switzerland about no longer picking the currency uh, is going to have some impact and hopefully add to some volatility, which is what we like to see. Don't need anything too wild, but certainly just like Friday's trading day would be great. But we'll be in the lab helping you make money. Hope to see you there. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. Feel free to take a trial of our services if you wish. We'll help you out in the lab. Have a good weekend, extended weekend, and week.